Hi there, Scary Gary. Glad you guys came back. Well, we're on our track home and we've got a little over 750 miles to go. And uh, we're going to make it kind of like in one big jump and then only have a small jump. So our, this today's trip is pretty close to 500 miles and we're going to be staying in the RV Corral. It is in Queens City, Texas. It's that's about 15 miles south of uh, Texarkana on US 59. So and that'll make it so our last day's uh, 250 miles, so, something in that neighborhood. And uh, so let's talk about the campground. Uh, it was a nice little campground uh, to start out with. It, it was good Sam's again, and it was a $30 a night. It had weekly and monthly rates available. And one thing that I've been noticing more and more as I'm going around, especially in these ones that have the more permanent people uh, that are there, there was a mini storage right beside it. So that would give you have more stuff than you could hold in your trailers. At least you could rent a small unit. And I have to admit, a lot of campgrounds that we've been at that are full-timers, the aesthetics may fall a little short. I can't say that about this camp, but it was absolutely meticulous. I mean, it was uh, wasn't almost wasn't even a piece of litter on the ground. And I, I, I know that because when I walk Finley, if he finds litter, he picks it up. But uh, it had all the amenities you'd normally have. It was full hookups. I believe there was 45 sites and uh, 15 of them were pull through. Uh, it had the playground area. It did have a fishing pond back there that I didn't see. It had uh, full hookups, uh, 20, 30, 50 amp, water, sanitary, free Wi-Fi. Um, it did have, uh, it didn't have cable TV, but we were very close to Texarkana and even Shreveport, I believe I got one of the stations there. So we had very good TV reception. So so it was a nice little campground. The only thing that Mary Lou didn't like about it as much was it was on gravel, not concrete, but it was it was actually on river rock gravel, which river rock gravel is not near as dusty. Washrooms were very clean. It had laundry service. It even had like a meeting room up there that had a 55 inch TV in it. So it was a very, very nice little campground. The only thing that uh, did go wrong for me, and which it was really a case of, a, this is a video that I'm going to put out in the pretty near future, is I have a surge protector that is actually, it's a, um, it tells me if the electricity is okay. And I plugged it in and I heard a little uh, on it and no lights, I mean, means problems. So I got a hold of the camp host and they came over. They tried switching a uh, breaker and uh, that didn't specifically work. And there was, they actually weren't too busy in what they were doing to, with us in the pull-through spots. They were kind of putting us every other. And these spots, I didn't mention that, these spots are very generous in size. I think they're 65 feet by 27 feet. So that gives you quite a bit of width. It's not like you're just, you know, edge to edge with your neighbors. So we went ahead and moved to the next spot over, which maybe I made the guy, but it was 27 feet, you know, it wasn't that bad. We were there only for the, on the night. But uh, had a little art in the area, and uh, somebody had made a metal moose, and Finley did enjoy that moose, or he thought he was going to enjoy it. Then he wondered if the size was not his not his size. But uh, it was it was a nice little spot to stop on the side of the road. If I can say anything negative about it, was it is pretty close to the road, and we were like two places in, I believe, and we did notice a little noise, uh, road noise, but it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad at all. So, if I'm coming through that area and I need to stop for the night, I would, I would stop there again. Well, I hope this has been informative, and I sure hope to see you next week. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Turn on your post notifications. Put the comments down below. Subscribe and you make me happy.